name is Andrea Young and I'm the Digital Content Specialist with the Office of Workforce Development, WorkSource Georgia, and today I'd like to share with you how you can self-record on WebEx. So let's get started. So for this training, I'm going to assume that you've already made an account with WebEx, you've already downloaded the application to your computer. So you're going to want to go ahead and log in to your WebEx account. Um, and then you click this calendar icon here on the left hand side. And then start a personal room meeting. And you can test your speaker and microphone. For me, I want my sound to come out of my laptop and I want my microphone to be my Yeti here. So we're gonna go ahead and click test. So again, my speaker, I want that to be my laptop speakers. I'm gonna hit test to test that. Great, so I hear the sound that's working. And then my microphone, I want that to be my Yeti microphone. Gonna hit test, gonna hit test. So it plays back, that way I know it's working. Um, obviously for you, your speaker and your microphone might have different names of different options available. Um, so just make sure that you are testing and confirming that everything works properly. If you'd like to, you can adjust some settings here at the bottom. These options, optimized for my voice and optimized for all voices are pretty similar sounding to me. Um, but for now, I'll just select optimized for my voice because I know that I'm gonna be self-recording myself and just myself. I can go ahead and exit this menu. When you self-record, you don't have to keep your video on. That's entirely up to you. So we finished testing our microphone and our speakers and we're going to go ahead and click start meeting. All right, so now we are officially in the WebEx meeting. So in this make-believe scenario today, I'm going to be presenting a PowerPoint. So I want to go ahead and open that PowerPoint and have that off to the side. Back in WebEx, I wanna hit this button that says share and then go ahead and select that PowerPoint. So with that PowerPoint selected, I just wanna click share again. And we can see now on our PowerPoint, we have a orange outline, which is now indicating that that screen is being shared. So once you shared your PowerPoint, you're gonna see that there's a little indicator here at the top saying that you are now sharing your PowerPoint. You might have to click this button here that says show meeting controls to open up that menu. Then you're gonna to wanna to click recorder and then once you click record, you're gonna have two options. You can record to the cloud or record to my computer. I would recommend saving or recording to the cloud, but I'll walk you through both options. So in this scenario, we're gonna record to the cloud, save to the cloud. With that option selected, we're gonna go ahead and click record. So as you can see, the timer is now running. I am recording and I will go through my presentation just like I normally would if other people were in this WebEx room with me. And then once I reach that final slide, I'm done recording. So then I can go ahead and open that recorder option again at the top and then go ahead and click stop. And then I get this pop-up window here that says, do you want to stop the recording? If you stop the recording and then restart at a later stage, a separate recording file will be created. To pause the recording instead, click the pause button in the recorder panel. In this scenario, I'm gonna click stop recording. Next, you're gonna open up your internet browser. In this case, I'm gonna use Chrome and I'm gonna to go to webex.com. and then go ahead and sign in. So once you sign in, you'll be able to see your dashboard of WebEx. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the left-hand side and click recordings. It might take a while for the recording to appear on your WebEx account online, but as you can see here, the recording is currently being generated. And if you hover over this little icon here, the I for information, it'll say, depending on file size and bandwidth, it can take up to 24 hours to receive your recording. 
So while we wait for that one to generate, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like to access a past recording and then share that with other people. So as you can see here, I have a recording from a past meeting back in 2020. If I move to the right, I can hover over this icon here that says share, go ahead and click that. Then I have a pop-up window up here with a link. So I can go ahead and click that button to copy that URL. I can navigate to my email and if I'm the one that's gonna be editing your video presentation, you can email me at ayoung at tcsg.edu and then just go ahead and paste that link. If I am the one that's gonna be editing your video, I also ask that you attach your presentation that you just used to present with. That way I can put your recording and the presentation together to create the best video possible. So again, if you are sending me something to edit, um, just send me the link to the recording and the PowerPoint or other presentation materials you used during your recording so that I can put them all together. And that is how you record via WebEx onto the cloud. Now we're gonna review how to save your recording to your computer. So with the recorder menu open, you're gonna go ahead and select save to my computer and then go ahead and click record. Then a pop-up window will appear and it'll ask you where would you like to save this recording. I have a project folder for this presentation. So I will go ahead and save it here. And call it self-recording. And then click save. So as you can see that timer is going up which means we are recording. Um, again, I'm going to go through my whole presentation just like I normally would. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click stop. And now that I'm done sharing my screen, I can stop sharing my screen here at this button. And then I can actually leave the meeting. So if I go to my control panel or my finder window, I can navigate to that folder where I told the recording to be saved to. I can preview that recording, make sure that everything looks good. Here's the recording there. Very short, looks great. So that is how you save your recording to your computer. Um, if you're gonna be sending this recording to someone else to edit, for example, me, um, you are gonna wanna upload that to, upload that recording to Dropbox or OneDrive or another online cloud service and then send that via email as a link because otherwise that file, the recording file can be quite large and it may not be able to be sent over email. That's why I recommend for people to record to the cloud because there are less steps that you have to take in order to share that recording with me or anybody else. If you record to the computer, um, that's fine. There's just gonna be a few additional steps that you have to take to share that recording. And with that, I've concluded my presentation on how to self-record on WebEx. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at ayoung at tzsg.edu, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching.